What's up guys, it's Jay, more than after kill, and I'm back here on Borderlands 2, and I'm going to show you how I got my talking shotgun. I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, what, a talking shotgun? That's right, after you save Roland, if you come back to Bloodshot Hideout, right here in this exact spot will be a little yellow AI power device that a robot's dropped, and it will give you access to a mission. And if you do those missions and complete it, it will give you the option to either get a talking shield or a talking shotgun. And I figured a talking shotgun is the way to go because it's a talking shotgun. So just keep continuing through the dam and you will find this loader right here. And he promises not to kill you. But guess what? Yeah. He uh, reneges on his uh, promise. I still most likely well with an eating disorder. Destroy it and help me find another. Also, I'm the so right here, things get really, really hectic. Uh, he has a lot of uh, guns to come at you. He throws a turret at you. There are a lot of loaders. So the best bet to do is just get the hell out of Dodge. Do not stay in that area. I will show you a spot right here where you can safely just chill and kill this guy without him hurting you. It's sort of like a glitch spot. I don't really call it a glitch. It's more of like an exploit. So yeah, the easiest way to do this is just to back away from the corner where that loader can't hit you. Take out these little loaders one by one and that turret from a long distance because those plasma bolts will take your shields out real fast. And with that loader over there shooting rockets and all types of ammunition, you do not want to be in the way of that without any types of shield. As you can see, turret goes down real fast. These loaders right here, if you are an assassin, pro tip, use your hologram. He'll blow up on the hologram and not on you and uh, your shields will be intact. Like I said, the shields are key here because you do not want to be taken. Look at this barrage of rockets that this loader is putting out on me. He's uh, a pretty tough character. So, like I said, I was trying to keep my distance here, but then I found a little spot right next to this phone booth where you can shoot and reload all day long. He can't touch you. I wouldn't try using rockets from right here, though, because you probably would blow yourself up. But right here, it's a nice little head glitch. Uh, if you do this in a multiplayer-style game against people in, like Call of Duty or something like that, they will, uh, they will give you hate mail. But since it's against the computer, it's against the AI, I consider this called a cover. So he takes down real easily. Use something with corrosive or shock damage. It'll put him down a little bit faster than if you're using just like a submachine gun with regular bullets in it. So now that we blew him up, his AI core is still intact, and he wants us to find him another body, so we're going to have to do it, and he promises that he's not going to murder us again this time. Let's see if he holds true to his promise. So now here's the shitty part. We gotta run all the way back through and fast travel back to Sanctuary. Once we go to Sanctuary, he wants to become part of a radio. So we're gonna put him in a radio. Inside of Mad Moxie's, there's a broken jukebox in the back, and we're gonna stuff him inside there. And he's become the first AI radio in Borderlands to uh, play some music for us. So let's see what he's got. Interesting. I feel the warmth of a speaker. The rhythm of the beat. It feels nice. Die, 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 die. I <laughs> came along and shoveled in with spurs <laughs> in your hands. A free hand and a full skin with a bed of bed. Don't look back. Don't let go with what you Sandra, thou saw you in the thoughts of suicide. And then never let him go and be sorry. I give up. You have defeated me. My days of attempting to kill you are truly over. I only wish to help you kill others. Take me to the one called Zed if you wish me 
to be a shield. Or Marcus, if you wish me to be a guy. All right, this bastard tried to kill us with really shitty music. What a bastard. Stop trying to kill me, you motherfucker. <laughs> so, uh, you can either take him to Zed for a shield or Marcus for a gun. I chose to take him to Marcus for a gun because, I mean, it's a talking shotgun. Who the hell doesn't want a talking shotgun? I'm pretty sure a lot of you were like, man, you know what? I wish my shotgun was able to hold a conversation with me. That's just something that uh, everybody would be interested in. So, let's turn him into a shotgun, and I'm going to leave this video out with some footage of him talking while we're fighting with him. And uh, It's kind of funny, kind of annoying, but uh, I don't think I'll ever get rid of him because he's pretty sick. So, my name's Jay, more than after kill. I hope this helped you out. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe, and I'm going to see you guys later. Switch them out! Switching weapons! 